Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video I'll be reviewing everything that was covered this week in DevStream 78. For this week we were joined by Forsythia, Zemniak, and Michael Rigner. These three reviewed details on the future of 2023 and Vigor, and answered some Q&A questions. So with no more delay, let's just get right into it. To start, they reviewed the 2023 roadmap that they released. I already covered that article in a video that they made on it in a separate video of my own, so I won't review it again today. They also addressed the large amount of changes that LMGs went through since its first tweak, stating that the reason for doing such a large amount of changes was due to them listening to community feedback and doing what they could do to try and get them into a healthy state, with them stating that at this point, from their perspective, the community is split between thinking that the LMG needs more nerfs and others who think it may be perfect, and even others who want to buff it, believing that the nerfs went too far. From here, we got some information about the leaderboard change plans with Zimniak stating that the current leaderboard is very static and not moving, as will be changed to offer more rewards and all around a more interesting experience. However, at the moment, it is too early of a state to share anything. He did confirm it will be an overhaul of the whole system though, not just a minor change. They stated that teasers for the first major update will be coming soon, seeing as the new season is projected for February, this really should be no surprise. But next, they stated that the sitting emote that a community member came up with looks rather cute, and they think it's a lovely idea, but they didn't know how it could be fully used in the Outlands, which seems to suggest they're not really planning it. They then stated they were curious what players thought the next map would be, and most of the chat stated they thought it would be a prison or a jail of some kind, which the devs thought was funny. They then asked about skill-based matchmaking, but the devs said that kills do not correlate skill, so while it may be difficult for players to fight stronger players, they should at least try to be less aggressive and try to sneak around. They also added that the reason you may be facing such enemies may be because of them placing priority on getting you into an encounter rather than making sure you are fighting players on the same tier as you. When confronted by chat that higher kills and wiping a whole map does correlate skill, they retorted that a loot based playstyle is better for shelter upgrades and XP grinding, and they challenged players to try and switch their playstyle. I wouldn't really agree with these statements, and I do think higher level kill players should not be in the same encounters, but that's the dev's position. That's all I got for you guys today. It was a short little dev stream that kind of is getting us from one week to the next. I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in the future with the next update. But until then, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.